hey guys welcome back so in this video we will continue from our last video where we have started with this example and we are attempting to design one microwave amplifier with a 14 dv gain and as we know to design a microwave amplifier means to decide on our gamma s and gamma l and in my last video i have already uh, derived the gamma s value and gamma l value re required for a 14 dv gain so if you haven't seen my last video please see it uh, i'll keep it in the i button so just click there and please see it and then come to this video because in this video our agenda is to simulate this example and try to see if we are getting a 14 dv gain so let's start uh, in my last video i have already explained how i have designed my input matching and my output matching we have this is our input matching circuits and this is my output matching circuits and these are the uh, length for the stuff I need to use and they are this in terms of lambda and this everything I got from my smith chart smith chart matching so if you just uh, remember the design in serenade and I hope you already know how to uh, use serenade if you don't know I have the serenade playlist uh, you can go there and see there are very small video you can quickly uh, know how to use serenade so in serenade or in any design uh, to use stuff we need to define the value for e or which is our electrical length and electrical length is nothing but our it is defined by 2 pi by lambda and l and l is the this is the total electrical length and we have already we have find out the value for l so that means for example for l1 if i want to know what is the electrical length then i'll write it as 2 pi by lambda and 0 0.046 lambda so lambda will get eliminated that means we don't need to know the value for lambda so it's very easy and electrical length the unit of electrical length is in angle and it could be in radian or in degree so in serenade you need to see what is the unit mentioned there and generally we design it for degree unit so in degree our 2 pi would be come out to be 360 degree into 0 0.046 so we just need to multiply them and we need to get the value for e for our first term so that means simply what we need to do we need to take it and we need to multiply it by 360 all the value 134 into 360 and after multiplying each of them we come to this result so these are the value which we will insert in our serenade and we will simulate it so it's very easy so let's open serenade so i hope you are already familiar with the environment of serenade so in serenade uh, in my previous uh, videos on serenade i have designed it for only passive circuits now we will start with the active circuit simulation and active circuit means uh, using bgt fet uh, those circuits which take power okay so in our question if you know if you see it in our question they have given this as parameter for our BGT so we don't need to select BGT from here because we will design it for the S2P file what is S2P file S2P file is a file which uh, give the as parameter of my circuit uh, not circuit my device and here my device is BGT so what we will do uh, you need to see the steps we need to have the S2P file like something from in which we can feed the S2P file so in serenade what you, you need to do you need to come to this option I hope you can see it it's written parts you need to click on parts you need to go below and you can see black box and port and port means two port three port and we are using a two port network so what we will do we can directly use two port this 
or to port with reference like we need to give the reference to ground so this or this anyone we can use but i generally use this one with the reference so i'll click it and i'll bring it here after that see it is saying you the device name and the file name so the file name is the important parameter because in file name we will feed the as parameter file as to be file or which is also called as touchstone file so i will give the path for that file and as this is a very old software so try to give like put your file in the root folder only root folder means in, in the same keep your file in the same folder where you are opening your uh, this project uh, this project of um, serenade okay so what do we do from question we have our s parameter file uh, not file like parameters we know these parameters are for 1 gigahertz so what we do we open a uh, notepad and in notepad we will write down let me sh uh, show you the file we'll write down something like this this is a simple notepad okay so and this notepad it is written in the format of touchstone uh, format and in touchstone format this hash line define the uh, unit of your frequency like we are using gigahertz is the as parameter file and ma means my all as parameter are in magnitude form magnitude and angle form and if i replace it with dv then i need to put all things in dv format but as in my question it is given in magnitude form so i am using ma and 50 means what is the system like we are using a 50 ohm system so that's why then this is the heading like frequency so for 1 gigahertz my s11 magnitude is this the phase of s11 this and uh, respectively i have written all of them if you have other frequency information then we can write it below uh, one by one okay so this is your touchstone all about your touchstone file and basically uh, uh, many of the vendor they already give you this as parameter file uh, ready made you don't need to prepare it by your own but as i am taking this example from a book so i don't have the as parameter file so i have prepared this for you and i will add the link for this file in my description so what we'll do we want to have the file location and i have put in in the same folder so i'll just write the name of the full uh, file and name of my file is and extension is txt okay and device name so in serenity there is a uh, constraint your device name should be the same as your file name so my file name is this so i'll put it in my device name sometime you might get some error like uh, your serenity is can't find this file so that time you just see the extension like if i write the wrong extension then it might don't find my file and how to see extension it's just right click here and go to property and you can find out that it is a dot txt so that means you need to write your file name and then you need to see the extension of your file and you need to write the whole thing so this is done okay let put the ground here okay now from our previous video in serenade we know that for designing a microstrip line we need to know the substrate information so what we have done earlier we need to go their transmission line and we were used to fill up those things the substrate information then 50 ohm and then e e means the same thing just now we have derived now for all the three lines uh, i will use so i'll put them and i synthesize for one gigahertz this is one way and this is correct and this is correct when you know have the values for your substrate but for quick uh, exercise when you don't know the details of your substrate what you can do you can take them from here see uh, we have ideal transmission line ideal shorter transmission line and ideal open transmission line so in this video i will use this and this so let 
I will connect them. So first what I need, I need a open circuit. Open circuit mm -hmm. stuff. E, uh, what is uh, the E we have just now derived it? It was 16.56 degree. And you can see uh, what is the frequency? It is 1 gigahertz. And that is the system 50 ohm we are using. Then I need the ideal transmission line. I'll put it here. It is 50. And what's the E we have derived? It is 48.24. And frequency is 1 gigahertz. Let me copy this here. And copy this here. And change the value. So for L4, actually I have L1, L2 and this is my L4. So mm -hmm. my L4, value of my L4 is 90. And value of my L3 is 19.44. Now we need to connect them. Now we need to take the ports and you know already ports should be taken in respective order like this is my port 1 so it should be selected first and then port 2 and now connect them. Uh, you see one thing I have used a 50 ohms here and 50 ohm here but in my simulation I am not using any 50 ohm register. Because those 50 ohm register are for outside world. Like I will connect the generator here. So it will have a 50 ohm output impedance. And a load which will have 50 ohm only. Like because it is a 50 ohm system. So we will work on 50 ohms only. And this port will actually look like this 50 ohm. Like for simulation this port will look like our 50 ohm register. So don't get confused. After that we need a frequency box and as it for 1 gigahertz so we'll start from 0.1 gigahertz and we'll go up to 1.5 and let's reduce the steps okay now if i have done everything correctly then in analysis i should not have get any error and congratulations we have not got any error so let's see the report we want s11 and we okay s11 enter it and S21 DV enter it. Now in our display what we should see at 1 gigahertz we should see S21 as 14 DV. S11 should be more than minus 10 DV at least but as we have selected our gamma S and gamma L without considering anything about the required S11. We have designed it only for our required S21 as 14 dB so our S11 might be bad in this case but let's we are doing this just to know that we have getting a 14 dB gain our S11 is not a uh, prime requirement so let's see what the uh, what's the result and in result you can see this red line is your S21 so let me mark uh, data marker so see at 1 gigahertz I am getting a 13.98 dB gain and what is our requirement? Our requirement was to get a 14 dB so we are getting it like it is near about and our S11 as we have expected it is not so good and for that we need to select our gamma S in such a way then there, that there is le less reflection but I have not covered those optimization yet. So in my future video, I will do those things. So for, for this video, uh, that's, so that's all for this video. Um, stay tuned because in my next video, I will come across some more interesting fact about microwave amplifier design. So thanks for your time. Bye bye.